Isabel, I just want to say thank you. And as you will see from all of the videos that we have collected here for you, there are a lot of people who want to say thank you. You've made a huge impact on my life. You've made a huge impact on so many lives here. Please enjoy the following testimonials and sing your praises. It's not enough, but it's our best. We love you so much, Isabel. Have an amazing retirement and enjoy the video. She's not leaving. She's not leaving. Hi, Dr. Mersky. Uh, it was lovely working with you uh, for my two years here. You have been such an inspiration to the students um, and all of your appreciation and gratitude towards me um, in the department has been very heartfelt um, and I will miss you and I hope you get as much vacation in as possible <laughs> um, because you deserve it. Take care. Bye. So, um, Dr. Mersky, I know I didn't get to know you that much, but I always remember uh, what you said to me about uh, being kind and my kind self. And I know, I wish I had gotten to know you better because I see how much you care and how you go over the line of duty for the students. So I just want to say that I know you're still around, but I didn't get to know you better, and I wish I would have. I really wish I would have. They say that all good things must come to an end, and I'm going to be selfish, Isabel, and say that I wish you were still here, um, and that I miss you. Um, I can't thank you enough for your support and your friendship uh, over the years. It's been a good uh, 10, what, 11 years uh, now, and um, uh, your friendship within the department and outside of the department. You are always ready to take my phone call, whether it's here or at home or while you're on the beach vacationing. Your advice and suggestions were always practical and on point, and I thank you for that. In short, I couldn't have gotten this far uh, without you, and I'm not embarrassed to say that. You're retiring, and I know you're well prepared uh, for the transition, and you have a lot that you need to accomplish. You need to travel. Um, you need to relax and you need to spend more time with family, obviously. Uh, congratulations on a wonderful career and uh, best wishes for the next phase in your life. It's been a pleasure to know you. It's been a pleasure to work with you. And I hope that we remain friends and, um, you know, hang out for the occasional coffee or dinner or lunch or whatever. After all, we're all Westchester um, folks. To yourself and Mike and the family, I wish you a long life health and happiness together. Hi Isabel, it's Teresa. I just wanted to thank you for all of your uh, years in the department and for always making me feel welcome and listened to and for all the time you spent with me helping me to solve my problems. Uh, I always told my students, you know, there's an, uh, when we did the chapter on listening and how listening is arguably a more important skilled in speaking, I always used you as an example of um, you know, the epitome of a good listener, somebody who uh, really cares about the other person and really sort of takes the time to think through what the other person is saying. Um, and I'll always think of you as you know, a friend, a listener, and you know, just as the person who is always there for all of us in all circumstances. I hope you have a wonderful retirement. I hope you um, clean out your office and move on to a great summer. And I you know, wish you and your daughter and your son and your husband all the best. Oh, and I really will miss you. I still can't get, really get my head around it. Take care. Dr. Mersky has been the most helpful, influential, and just downright selfless advisor, teacher that I've ever had. And that's just, that's not just here at BCC because I was in a situation myself where I was on the road to failure. And she took the time, every time that I would come and ask her for some help, she would always, even if it's 30 seconds out of her day, tell me something that would be of so importance and that would help me so much. 
and I have nothing but gratitude for her. And thank you so much for everything that you've done and congratulations on your retirement and uh, hope to see you again sometime. Hi, Isabel. I just wanted to tell you that I am um, going to miss you a lot. Um, you've always been, and I know probably to everybody you were the same, like so reliable. And I always felt really bad calling you, but I always knew that I could. And um, <clears throat> it's going to be really sad when I when I can't um, call you. And you know, there's that question that I don't think anyone else has the answer to, but you. But I know that there is another. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Anyway, you should not have to worry about that. And you're amazing. And thank you for all the advice that you gave me and when you listened to me um, when I needed to talk to somebody and figure out stuff. Um, just really, really grateful for you and you're going to be really, really missed and I think you know that but I'm going to say it again. Isabel's not leaving. Hi Isabel, I just wanted to say thank you. You've been amazing, you've been wonderful, uh, not just as a fellow colleague but as a friend, as a voice of reason and um, as just a good person. And it's been so wonderful. Even though it's only been a short time, it's been so wonderful to work with you while you've been here. So I'm gonna miss you, thank you, and I still hope we get to see each other, even when you're not on campus. So thanks again. Hi kiddo. I'm already missing you, but I missed you before you actually left since you were only here part-time. Uh, I hope you're enjoying your time away now, and I uh, want to just let you know that over the years you became a most valued colleague, but you already know that. Sharing concerns and, and your wise counsel was always helpful. I knew you were always there, and you always made time for me. Uh, I don't know how you lasted as long as you did, given the, your, your, the integrity with which you operate, but I'm glad that you did last that long, and I just want to throw out one thing. Having a grandkid, you and Mike need to get on your kids because having grandkids, you should have them first, but tell your kids to get on the ball. Take care. Love you. Hi, Isabel. Um, we'll miss you. I am so happy to know you and to have a chance to work with you. And thank you so much for all the support you've given me all these years. And I hope to see you around even when you're not around the department. Hi Isabel, it's Tiffany. I'm going to miss you so much. You have been such a great contribution to this institution and as a new person I really looked up to you especially when we had to deal with all these SAP issues and appeals. You are amazing, a genius and a wonderful woman overall and I look up to you very much. I'm definitely going to miss you. Thank you so much for everything. Isabel, you're so awesome. I specifically remember you helping one of my students out and going above and beyond. You are amazing. In the short time that I've known you, you've been great. So we'll definitely miss you. Hello, Dr. Mursky. I just want to say thank you for all you did for me. I was misadvised my first semester. Took classes I didn't need to take. You figured everything out. Got my math credit passed and everything from my previous school. I just want to thank you for putting me on the right track and helping me graduate. Enjoy your retirement. Isabel, I just want to thank you so much for all you've done for me since I came to Bronx Community College. You're an amazing advisor, and I look to you for all the advice, and you've given me great advice over the years. And I want to wish you a lot of luck and lots of rest after you leave us, but don't forget us. Thank you so, so much, and I love you. Thank you, Isabel, for everything you told me from the first day I started. Um, you will be greatly missed. I've learned so much from you. I appreciate all your help throughout the years. And thank you. Thank, thank you for you teaching, teaching us everything, everything we know. know. Thank you. Hello, Isabel Mosky. I have known you for a short time, but even in that time, you've been very approachable, and I could always come to you to ask you questions about students and troubleshoot. Congratulations on your retirement. You've dedicated a lot to CUNY, so now it's time to dedicate time to yourself and your family. Congratulations. Good morning. Thank you, Isabel Mursky, for your help and your great substitutions. Miss you. Hi, Dr. Marcy. Thanks for all your help, for helping all the students. Um, I wish you good luck and um, the best in your future. Hope you enjoy your retirement. Bye. Okay. 
how can we get you to stay? Thank you, Isabel Mercy, for everything that you taught me. Learning from you has been great. I'm going to miss you, but I still have your cell phone number. Love you. <laughs> so, Dr. Mersky, I really appreciated your help in uh, my advisement. I know I came in as a transfer student, had a lot of um, varied classes, and you were able to see right where they applied to, to different categories here and took care of that and we cut through a lot of red tape and you got me right into the right into a track that got me right quick on to graduation so i appreciate your your help and have a good retirement and remember us students through the years Bye. hi it's michelle we're going to miss you so much it's been an absolute pleasure and keep in touch dr mersky i'm going to miss you congratulations on your retirement You've helped me tremendously this past two years, and I really appreciate it. Enjoy your retirement. Hi, Isabel. It's, you know, it's bittersweet to see you leaving, but I know you're going on to better places, and I hope you will keep in touch with us because, you know, we're not Pathways experts, and you're our guru. We'll be depending on you to, you know, handle our emails and our calls every now and again. But we wish you all the best, and I thank you that in my two years of being here, you were just such a wonderful guide for me. Um, I wish you the best, and I definitely will keep in touch with you, and I wish you Godspeed. Thank you, Isabel. Hi, Professor Mursky. I heard from a little birdie that you're actually retiring, and I am so sad to see you go, but I'm glad at the same time because I know that you're going to have a great retirement lifestyle. So uh, I just want to say goodbye. It was great working with you all these years. You've been a pleasure for myself. You've mentored me and you've been a pleasure for the student. So I just like to you to say bon voyage. Have a great retirement. So long. Hello, Dr. Marske. We really appreciate all the time that you spent with us and we wish you the best now in this new stage in your life and we wish you the best. Isabel, it's been great. I had a great time working with you uh, through the CES appeals and everything else we did. Um, we'll miss you here and from the registrar's office. It was great having you. All right, thanks a lot. Incredible. From the theater workshop to you, we want to say a quick thank you, but first I got to say for what? Over the years, you've sent me some of my finest, most dedicated actors. You've always been at every show. You've always given me critique and feedback that I've appreciated so much. You've always been incredibly supportive of me, and, and, and you're just a hero to me. So I wanted just to say, for all the trays of brownies that you've cooked for previous, not you guys, but previous, <laughs> previous guests, we just want to say a really big thank you. So from all of us, Isabel, we just had such a love fest discussing the fact that 1-800, you are a genius at advising. Whatever little I know, I learned from you. You make it look so easy and so natural. How I wish. Mwah. Hey, Isabel. Just wanted to say thanks for all you've done, which, of course, those words can't possibly capture all the wonderful things you've uh, done as far as advising and mentoring and all of that. So just want to say thanks, and you'll be so missed. Bye. Hi, Isabel. It's Maribel. Thank you for helping me in so many occasions. We're going to miss you. It's a loss for BCC, but enjoy your retirement. Bye. Hello, Dr. Mursky. Uh, my name is Dawda Diop. Um, you actually helped me out a lot last semester because when my schedule was a little messed up, I remember I came to you and you were able to fix everything on the fly. So I really want to say thank you and you really have made a difference in my, you know, college years for now, you know, and I have, you know, I know you're retiring and you've been here for over 20 years, so I um, just want to wish you good luck and thank you so much for everything you've done. When you think of heroes, you think of doctors, firefighters, or policemen, but my hero would be Dr. Mursky because I was in a situation where I started out my first semester and I was ill-advised and she came in 
and with a snap of her finger, she put me on the track that I needed to be. So Dr. Mursky, thank you so much. I will see you in December when I graduate um, and I wish you the best on your retirement. Hi, it's Jeffrey Wasatsky. When you need advice about advising a media and digital film production major, or how to make delicious brownies or potato pancakes, or centerpieces for bar mitzvahs, or when you just want to talk about a parent who was a senior citizen, who are you going to call? Dr. Isabel Mursky. Who better to answer your questions than a very experienced teacher advisor who continues to put her skill and passion for both to good use for the benefit of everyone on campus. I am proud to say that Isabel Bursky has been my colleague and friend for more than 20 years. She is an exceptionally talented teacher and advisor who provided her students with a stimulating, challenging, and sound academic program. At every commencement, it was not unusual to see bouquets of flowers at her office door as faculty iron their gowns before our morning march with graduating students. Isabel's excellent advisement skills ensured that every student had a solid academic plan for every semester and the map for academic success. Students that Isabel advised were so joyful to have their BCC journey mapped out for them that they had a more positive approach to learning and knew they had a mentor in Colston Hall. Isabel would always give advice as if every student were her own child. I will always remember Isabel telling students during an advisement session, well, if it were my daughter Lauren or my son Andrew, I would tell them dot, 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 her wealth of information, ideas, and helpful tips benefited any classroom teacher, whether new or experienced. As a new instructor coming to BCC from a TV station, I was always looking for guidance from more experienced professionals, and Isabel provided me with so many valuable ideas. She has been a tremendous help with my development as a professor and as a student advisor. Isabel is also able to take any complicated situation or conflict and break it down into something manageable. You leave her office with a wealth of information that is much more than you ever expected to receive going in. Isabel, from the bottom of my heart, I sincerely wish you and Mike the most happiness, best of health, and all the luck in the world on the next chapter of your journey. Thank you, Isabel. I don't even know where to begin on this. It's so hard to imagine you not being here. Uh, I've learned so much from you. You've always been there for me. I would have to imagine if there's one thing, and there's not one thing, but if there was one thing that I've taken away from working with you, it's about the endless amount of compassion you've displayed for our students, for our colleagues, for everyone. Uh, if, it's, if it's not a bottomless well of compassion, you do a damn good job of making the illusion like it is one. So. Thank you for that. I'll take that with me always. Hi, Dr. Mursky. It's me, Jody. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the help that you've given me since I started at BCC. I know that my case was very different from other students, and um, I am so very thankful that you were able to help me. Um, you know, and and get me to the next level because now I'm going to Brooklyn, and it's because of you and Dean Ott, but you helped bridge the communications between myself and Ott so that I can go to the next level and I'm very, very thankful for that. Um, I know that my case was different compared to other students and more difficult, but you were able to uh, get past the red tape and all of that and um, I am so very thankful. So congratulations on your retirement. I am sure that we will meet again. This is not the end for me because I'm going to keep going. I'm going to come back to BCC and I'm sure um, we'll cross paths one more time. Uh, congrats once again on your retirement and enjoy yourself because you deserve it. Thank you again. Throughout the ages, 
there have been great figures who have changed our lives. Today, I want to thank someone who has changed the lives of countless students here at BCC. Someone who has worked tirelessly, day and night, around the clock, weekends included. That person is Dr. Isabel Mursky. And I want, from this day forward, every time you pass this spot, to think this is Isabel Mursky's spot in the Hall of Fame. This is where I will pass and say a silent thank you to you, Dr. Isabel Mursky, for being an inspiration and for being a true hero. All of these faces here at the Hall of Fame are the heroes we sing about. They're people who we go, they deserve our thanks. You're my unsung hero. You're the hero that I think of every time I think of who is a great advisor, who is a great teacher, who is a great inspiration. It's you, Isabel, and I wanna thank you. Mike, I wanna bear witness to the fact that Isabel was there working with students, yet another student. When you were waiting for her to come home, she was just seeing that one last student through that one last obstacle that was standing in the way of their graduating, their future success, their future career dreams. Isabel, as an educator, I believe in the power of education. I educate one student at a time. You have educated educators. You have educated advisors. You have touched the lives of every single student that they advise from this day forever. And everyone that they help to get a little closer to their dreams, it's you who we have to thank. And so, Isabel, thank you. And remember, this is your spot.